Hey everybody, I figured it was about time that I went through and showed you guys the features and functionality of our media centers. And media centers are definitely one of our favorite products. It's something I take a great deal of pride in building. Um, I love to watch people um, when they see them for the first time, especially when it's in their own living room. Uh, it's a very unique product uh, and it adds a lot of functionality uh, and freedom to your living room, not to mention the removal of a ton of clutter. Uh, no more do you have to do those movie dashes where you got to pull everything out of the entertainment center and pull the front row out so you can get to the stuff in the back and look through discs and find out what you want to watch. No more of the archaic 1980s, early 90s wall of shelves in your living room that you have to devote to uh, stacking all your discs and Blu-rays. Uh, you can deliver it, you can, excuse me, you can eliminate all of that clutter um, and move to a strictly digital system. And that's what makes this so nice is you have all that media right at the finger, at your fingertips. And uh, I mean, you can put hundreds and thousands of movies on a single drive. So it gives you a lot of freedom. So just to give you a quick run through of how uh, the media center works. Um, obviously, it's a hub for all of your movies, TV shows, um, music and pictures and a number of other things. The nice thing about it is the presentation format. Uh, it gives you a ton of information about each movie as well as uh, gives you a user interface that's great for navigating through them all. Um, there are a dozen ways of laying it out so that it meets your liking. Um, I happen to like this layout but if we come over here I'll go into the specifics another time as far as configuration is concerned, but you'll see there are a, a ton of different ways that you can view or show uh, your library. Um, some people like a little bit of information with their, uh, their movies. Um, some people just want a list of them. Uh, sometimes it's nice when you're going through and you're like, uh, what was that about? It's nice to have a synopsis, a little bit of information as far as, you know, what's going on. So to each their own, uh, the freedom that it gives you is the nice part. Uh, it lets you organize your movie library the way you want it to be. Um, and so that in its own right is a, is a nice feature. So the customization is honestly one of the best parts of having a media center. Um, but we'll go through here real quick, I'll show you. Let's get out of the menus. Oops, go back to movies. So as you go through, you'll notice uh, here, you get a variety of information about each movie as you go through them. Um, you can see the format of the movie, uh, uh, as well as on many of them, the uh, studio, excuse me, responsible for the movie, the rating of the film, uh, the categorization, all of the information that it gets, it uh, the system pulls, over the internet through IMDB, the Internet Movie Database. So it gives a very clear and concise description of the movie, but it also makes sure that it's categorized uh, according to how the director and studio wanted it to be. So uh, for example, 310 to Yuma here is, is categorized as an action adventure, suspense, thriller, Western. So uh, it fits within the action adventure categories and you can actually sort your movies based on those genres as well, which is another feature I'll show you in a bit. Um, you can see, for example, this movie, uh, if I go back to 310 to Yuma, is uh, in 21 by 9, uh, which is uh, original theater uh, layout, and this one happens to be in 720p. Not all movies are in that aspect ratio. For example, this Blu-ray is a standard 16 by 9 formatted for home TVs, uh, widescreen and 1080p with uh, obviously high quality audio. Um, so as you go through your library, you can browse individually by title. Um, you can uh, move down and you can go through a grouping of them uh, several at a time. Uh, basically, it's the same as the page down or page up uh, function. It lets you uh, go a set of movies at a time, uh, five or ten, I don't remember which. Or you can go through them individually. Uh, in your library, as you go through your movies, one of the things you'll notice when you start to play a movie, you select one, it'll load the, uh, the information. Once the movie actually starts to play, you get really nice controls and access to functionality. 
Um, you can adjust the audio and subtitles within the movie. Uh, you can adjust amplification. Uh, if the movie's not loud enough, you can, uh, without having to adjust your audio system. Sometimes, uh, some movies, it doesn't matter who manufactures the movie. I've noticed on some discs, action scenes will be exceptionally loud, and then volume scenes will be, uh, or excuse me, uh, spoken dialogue will be almost muted. Uh, the difference in the audio mixing is terrible on some movies. Um, this feature here, a volume application, allows you to adjust for those times so that you don't have to crank up the whole audio system. You can actually uh, amplify the volume. You can adjust the subtitles as far as uh, where they're, um, how they're playing, obviously, and the audio offset. Every once in a while you have a, a film where the audio just seems slightly off. You can adjust that to, to the mouths of the speakers. Um, in addition, you've got navigation control, standard ones, fast forward, rewind, play, stop, uh, skip to the next movie, or uh, go back to the last. There are a ton of settings in here that you can adjust uh, um, much more than you'd get with any uh, standard or even mid-range or high-end Blu-ray player. Um, you can also download subtitles directly for your movie. Um, so there's a lot of features that are packed within uh, within this. You can bookmark specific spots within a movie. Um, if there's a, a part that happens to be your favorite part and you just happen to like watching that part, you can come back to. So there's a lot of really great uh, features. I have no idea why I stopped on the Postman <laughs> of all movies. Um, so, but you can see it's a great way to be able to navigate your library and see a visual representation of your individual titles, um, which is nice. Uh, I prefer it as to having a list. Um, there's a lot of times where there's just a movie I haven't seen in a long time, and just having the the picture. For example, here's a good one, Proof. Fantastic movie. Uh, Anthony Hopkins and Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, very, very good movie. Uh, the other day we were going through trying to find something to watch. I saw the title and I couldn't remember what it was. So uh, we had it in list mode at the time, and that's why I like it this way. I prefer it this way. Because uh, sometimes all it takes is a movie cover to make you go, ah, oh, yeah, that's what that was. So, uh, I think that should be about everything you'd need to know about the movie side of it. Um, a couple of nice features you can see here if you move out of the menu and go into something else. A little icon pops up here. Uh, this pop-up tells you what movie you have playing and paused in the background so you know what you're on. Um, other features uh, with, uh, within movies, some great things is you can actually select to go through movie sets. So, um, which are groups of movies, say, for example, like the Spider-Man collection or the, the Batman collection, things like that, sets of movies, Nightmare on Elm Street, where it's a whole collection of movies and sequels. Um, you can actually watch trailers for the individual movies. Uh, so, uh, and then you can sort them by genre, by year. Um, so it's a really great way to, uh, to be able to find movies. Um, there's also a fantastic uh, search feature. That allows you to you know just search you can go through movies by actor by director uh there's just so much uh, that it allows you to do um a lot of little nice touches for example here uh the weather feed is constantly uh fed through even even in these screens so you can see here it shows the weather's 37 right now in republic it is freezing um and obviously time and date as well uh TV shows, um, a great feature that it does with TV shows is it allows you to categorize everything into not only show, but into season. So for example, uh, a show like American Horror Story, um, you can see here, it gives you the listing of seasons. You can either just browse through every episode or you can go through each episode by season. Um, and then uh, in addition, it shows you how many episodes you have within that one um, and it than exactly how many or what studio or channel I should say that uh, that particular show aired on. Um, same navigation uh, as it is with movies. Um, you also get uh, in this. You also happen to get a complete um, uh, listing of the same information that you get with the movies as well, such as the studio, uh, the the genre, category, things like that. Navigation is exactly the same as if, if you're watching a particular episode of a show as it is with a movie. Um, so you still have that ability to quick navigate through things. Um, 
Music is a little different. Uh, music actually plays and controls the same way. Um, I actually don't have a ton of music on here because I use Spotify for most, most stuff. Um, music gives you, once again, it automatically downloads uh, the album covers for the music that you have on the system. Um, and then individual titles show up that you have. Uh, and playback is, is just the same. You've got that ability to control it. Now this menu up here, if you scroll up to the top when you're in, in any menu, whether it's movies, uh, TV shows, music, whatever, this is your uh, what I call your quick reference bar. Um, this gives you access directly to the other menus uh, and areas of, of the server um, without having to you know, go back through the previous menus and then select it and then go into it. You can just hop into any of them directly from here. You can also mark certain things, whether there's a particular album, TV show, a movie that it happens to be a favorite of yours. You have the ability here to favorite it, and then at that point, just go directly to it under your favorites. Great tool. Um, there is a ton of functionality that we simply could not do in a uh, uh, in a short video. Uh, we could spend hours talking about the hundreds and hundreds of add-ons that you can get, video add-ons that allow you to to do interesting things. Uh, with the movies you've got, uh, a way to watch additional shows, live TV, um, streaming video, and uh, um, reports from your favorite channels. Uh, for example, ESPN, ABC News, Fox News, things like that. You don't have to worry about, uh, you don't have to deal with all the commercials and miscellaneous junk. Um, you can just actually watch the, the live video feeds, or I should say the, the recorded and uploaded feeds from them. Um, directly of the actual content itself. So there's a lot of, uh, of really great functionality to it. Um, pictures, once again, you can uh, also access your picture library as well. Uh, and again, there are dozens and dozens of options for accessing, excuse me, uh, the way that your images look. Uh, once again, you have that freedom and that ability to um, show them however you want. Um, and then uh, go back here. Weather is a great function. Uh, you can come in here and get a complete forecast, a uh, description of how the weather is currently, as well as how it's going to be, um, your basic weather information. Uh, it's nothing super fancy, but it's a nice feature to have to be able to just grab a quick forecast without having to hop on the internet and go to a particular site or, or whatever else. Um, uh, there are a number of other features you'll notice here that, that's set up for live TV and the TV guide. Um, if you have a TiVo system, um, the media center is able to be linked to and set up and configured with it. That's a much more advanced feature. Um, I don't watch live TV. Uh, all of my uh, all of my shows uh, I grab individually simply because I don't like to have to be someplace at a particular time. So very rarely do we watch live TV, so I don't have a tuner in the system. Um, but as you can see, there's a ton of functionality. Uh, it it makes a nice format. It's a great way. It's got a great visual interface that most people love. Um, the customization is great. Uh, I haven't had a single person who wasn't wowed by the form uh the format uh so that's another great feature and to me honestly the biggest and best feature of all of it is that it consolidates your entire movie library instead of having to have cabinets full of discs all over the place uh boxes of them a closet i've seen so many creative ways people have of storing all their movies that they've collected um this gives you an uh, the ability to have all of those movies uh, for example you'll notice i've got 1137 movies in my library right now of ranging from 1941 to uh, to last week. Um, that being the case, I've got it all stored on a drive. I don't have to have stacks of discs. I don't have boxes of them all over the place. And some of that stuff is obviously, it's very old. Some of it's stuff from old VHS tapes that I had. So you have your entire media library consolidated and put into one area, which is really, really handy. It saves you a ton of space, plus it allows you to preserve the quality. Anybody who's had VHS tapes for years and watched them knows how they wear out and how the visual quality starts to be affected. So you don't have that problem when you convert to digital. You get the best absolute quality in picture and sound, and uh, you don't have to ever have to worry about degradation.
So I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of, of how the Media Center works, um, how it can make your life easier, some of the features. If you guys have specific questions, please feel free to contact us um, and uh, let us know. Uh, RethinkTech at gmail.com and uh, hope you enjoy the video.